What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the first beta of macOS 15.1 to developers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. So this is a little bit interesting because you actually need to do a very specific step in order to get to the macOS 15.1 betas. So the first thing you need to know is that you must have an Apple Silicon Mac. And the second thing is you first need to go to general and then software update and then go into beta updates. And then you're going to want to tick on macOS Sequoia 15.1 developer beta. However, if you do not plan on using Apple intelligence, Apple recommends that you stay on macOS Sequoia developer beta. I will be covering the developer betas of 15.0 still. It's just that I'll just need to reinstall it a little bit later since I completely overrid this install. All right, so what is new here inside the software? It's Apple Intelligence. I'm going to be showing you everything new with it. So I went to the whitelist pretty much right away and then I just press turn on Apple Intelligence once you're ready and then continue. And then you're going to get a redesigned Siri, it looks like. You're going to speak to Siri or you can type Siri by pressing globe and S. So it looks like we have a new shortcut for Siri on Mac OS Sequoia. All right, Siri so will now recognize us whenever we say the forbidden word and it does not seem to pin itself into the menu bar however i'll pin it inside the menu bar right now and you can see we have a redesigned icon now you will not have this icon if you do not have the apple intelligence and upon doing it it doesn't show on my main display right now but i'm sure that's just a bug right now but even if i click it no matter what it's only showing on my main monitor not my secondary monitor. So let me fix that real fast. All right, so I have fixed my displays so that my monitor is my main display. And when you click it, you can now see we have a redesigned Siri UI. And we can also press globe S to bring up Siri as well. And it looks like it's gonna have you type it unless you press it here. And upon triggering Siri by using the forbidden word or pressing and holding F5, you will hear a brand new sound. Let me play it for you real fast. So basically, they just want to make Siri sound a little bit more fancier, which is really nice to see. All right, so you can see that we got a removed feature inside of macOS Sequoia where it no longer plays this sound I'm about to play for you. Which is really unfortunate because I really like that sound when turning off lights in your room or turning something off in HomeKit. But unfortunately, we no longer have that sound inside of macOS Sequoia and we don't even have a replacement. Now, the next change inside of this latest bit of macOS Sequoia is we got this. We got this emoji picker back. It seems to be a lot better now and it looks the exact same from beta 3 before they removed it from the re-release. But this emoji picker is now back. It just functions as you would expect. Now, the next thing we got in this latest bit of macOS Sequoia is a brand new keyboard shortcut. So if you double press the command key, it now triggers Siri and you just type to Siri and you can also press and hold F5 and that's to talk to Siri or alternatively you can just press command twice and then press this button to talk to Siri and supposedly you should be able to manage settings in here. Now this learn more button doesn't work for some reason, but I'm sure it will at some point. Now the next thing has to do with AI writing tools. So I just wrote a few words right here. And if I go and if I highlight all the words and then go into writing tools, I could press the rewrite button and then we'll try rewriting this. I'm not sure how well of a job this will do. Okay, I guess that is pretty cool. I'll just press replace. And now it says, I absolutely adore mewing. There are also a couple of other writing tools in here that says proofread it and it says it's good. Maybe I want this to be professional. Let's see what it says now. Okay, I wholesomely embrace the practice of mewing. That sounds very professional considering we have the word mewing right here. And then I could also summarize this. So, all right, so it says we can't summarize it right now, which is okay. We could also make this a list. So let's see what it does. Okay, so it just puts it in bu a bullet mark. So I just took a random essay that I just found on the internet. And if I just right click and then take writing tools and then create key points, it will just take a while to do it. This is all on device, by the way. So it just says be spontaneous and don't take yourself too seriously. And then going back to writing tools, I can turn this into a list to turn it into a list if I wanted to. Makes it a lot more readable, I would say. And I could also rewrite this to make this a lot better, which this is already AI generated. I know that for sure. So I'm not sure how much this is going to work or I can make this concise. So there it is right there. there that, those are the AI writing tools that we got inside this latest beta of Sequoia. Now those are all the changes I can find inside this latest beta. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Download my apps, Willy Widget, sound description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!